you all believe that he's the son of God? Yes. Okay, got you. That he's like the Messiah, the Christ, right, exactly. all that, yeah. but not that he was God. God don't have a God, so he's not God. You see what I'm Wait, doing? where do you say that? It'll take me a second to find it. Okay, right? yeah, that's okay. Hey, please quit filming me. Recently, I was walking on WKU's campus, talking to people about Jesus, and I ended up running into some Jehovah's Witnesses who were there with their setup, their pamphlets, their books. There was three of them, uh, and they were, I guess, evangelizing is what they call it um, on the campus there. And I ended up having a pretty interesting conversation with them. Lots of questions, uh, lots of kind of not debating, but what they believe versus what we believe as Christians and based on what Jesus, the instructions that he's given us. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And let's jump into the video. Hello, how are you all? Hi, Doing good? Yeah. yeah, yeah? Yeah. You can I see. I know, I was just looking at your Jesus shirt. is king. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of, you know, that's what we're featuring, the, the kingdom that Jesus taught us to pray for. Yeah. Matthew 6, 9, and 10. And so I'm talking about just how much we long for that kingdom. Yeah, yeah. And its effects to be here completely on earth as it is in heaven. Yeah. So I don't know if that's something you've ever taken a look at, but you're... You're welcome to his come. kingdom you know your kingdom come your will yeah, be done on earth exactly. as it is in heaven yeah. um uh, then he said to his disciples the kingdom is within you um even at that at that time which would kind of be like the holy spirit coming and then being inside of us uh his kingdom and then he told people um you know tell them the kingdom of god has come near to them heal the sick cleanse the lepers raise the dead and cast out demons um so, so that's like the kind of like the characteristics of the kingdom of god you know like in heaven it says there's no more uh, death, there's no more sorrow, there's no more crying. Revelation 21 um, 4. Yeah, no, no, no more pain, stuff yeah. like that. So, like, God's, yeah, God's kingdom, like, how there's no sickness and disease and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, that's what Jesus was kind of revealing, was he preached the kingdom of God. Yeah. And then, you know, he would, like, cleanse the lepers, give the blind their sight, the yeah. mute their speech, the deaf their hearing, yeah, paralytics. Like, you know, you think about it, this is um, go, approaching a campaign year. And a lot of you know candidates are trying to show what they're going to do, what they're going to do for government. So the three and a half years of Jesus' ministry, he always pointed to God's kingdom as being the permanent solution for the things that they were suffering. And then he demonstrated by those miracles the power, you know, that God-given power that he could. He could even raise the dead. Yeah. How awesome is that? And, yeah. so, and then he gave that assignment to his apostles too. And then today is the same kingdom that we're talking about that again will bring permanent solutions to all of mankind's problems. Yeah. And that's, you know. Yeah, he's the only, he's the only solution. Exactly, Jesus. exactly. Yeah. Are you from a news outlet? Uh, no, not, not news outlet. I, I have like a YouTube channel, okay. um, but that's yeah. main it. But I guess good news, but not the news like ABC, <laughs> you know, news, stuff like that. That's well, that, funny. What's the main, the main difference between I guess Jehovah's Witness, is it considered Christianity or? Yes, because, yes. Christianity? You know, you know we, we, we follow Christ as best we can. Yeah. You know what we do, we, do, we, do, we follow Christ and we're, uh, uh, we, we are Jehovah's Witnesses. You know, the, there, there, are, there are probably a number of differences. Mm -hmm. A number of differences, but we, are, we consider ourselves Christians. Yeah, yeah. Do you all believe that he's the son of God? Yes. Okay, got you. That he's like the Messiah, the Christ, right, exactly. all that, yeah. but not that he was God. So you, so I you, guess so that's you do, where so you do have so you do have some knowledge of us. Yes, indeed. Uh, a little bit. I'll show you here. If you go, I don't know what that's. JW.org. Yeah, JW.org. Right. You already knew about it. Yeah. You already knew about it. Okay. Well, so so you. Well, it's a, it's right there. Okay. Well, yeah. Right. Well, well. <laughs> sorry. Sorry about that. No, that's okay. But but the this is our official site, and it has. It has all the, our information and beliefs, and we, we steer people to it now. This is the New World Translation. Then you have uh, Bind and American Standard, King James. Yeah. You know, it has, it has different translations available. Do y'all read like the, the KJV, the King James Version? Or what, yeah, well, what do you mainly well, read? We know mainly we read the, this is called the NWT. The English? The NWT, it's called New World Translation. It's made by Jehovah's Witnesses. Okay, gotcha. But, but, we, but uh, until the early 50s, we use the King James and the American Standard. I'm curious in, in your Bible, what Isaiah 42, yeah, yeah, it's talking about Jesus. Look my servant on whom I uh, keep fast hold, my chosen one whom my soul has approved, I have put my spirit in him. 
justice to the nations is what will bring forth. So verses like that, mm -hmm. like this is the, the Lord actually speaking, but it says my soul. Mm -hmm. And then it also says my spirit. Mm -hmm. And then it's actually talking about my servant whom, you know, uh, my, my chosen one. So right there we see Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Um, and there, there's actually several places even in um, like Psalms and stuff where God refers to my soul, um, speaking of his own soul. So that's kind of what really helped me because for a long time, you know, people talk about the Trinity, which I know is not in the Bible, um, but Father, Son, Holy Spirit, even that concept, like scripturally, um, it was hard for me to grasp it. But then when I, when I recognized the Bible says that we're spirit, body and soul, right? So we have a body, you know, uh, that's the earthly tent. It's just temporary. Um, and then we have eternal, you know, inside of us. Um, but just as we're like three parts, um, spirit, body and soul, and made in the image of God, it actually says that he's three parts, but one. Like like for you, this, this, just because- this, this, I've, this I've heard before, I'm aware of this. Yeah. You know, but you know, it came in with the Nicene Creed, like 300. It was, before that, it, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't settled because it's an, like you said, Trinity's not in the Bible. Well, that, just yeah. that word. I know. Trinity's but, not but, in the Bible. But, but it is, but it is the belief. And you would think that if, if God wanted to be known as a standard belief, yeah. it would be in the Bible. I mean, that's a pretty... Well, pretty Isaiah 42, how, how would you explain, Isaiah, that scripture that was just... Because that, that's even the Jehovah's Witness Bible. Well, okay, how well, would you explain that verse? Well, okay, God saying, okay. my soul, my spirit, and even... Think about this. Talking about his son, the chosen Jesus one. Jesus got resurrected. And, and he meets Mary and Martha you know, after the resurrection. And they grab him. And he says, stop clinging to me. I've not yet ascended to my God and your God. Now, God don't have a God, so he's not God. You see what I'm Wait, where, where, where do you say that? It'll take me a second to find it. Okay, right? yeah, that's okay. Hey, please quit filming me. Is that... Uh, John 20. John 20? What verse is it? Stop clinging to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father, but be on your way to my brothers and say, I'm ascending to my Father and to my God and to your God. What's King James say there? Uh, this is NKJV. I'm ascending to my father and your father and to my God and your God. God don't have a God. Yeah. But so, so, no, no. If God, so, Jesus was referring to God in the second person. I'm going to ascend to my God. He didn't say, you know, he didn't say, I am God. He said, I'm, get, I'm going to God. You, you, God didn't have a God. It's just a thought. Yeah, yeah. And it's a, it's, it's a good thought. I think uh, he's, he's saying, you know, my father and your father, and then he's saying my God and your God, but that's not four different, not four different things there. He's, he's referring, it's kind of like back to back. Mm -hmm. I'm ascending to my father and your father, like saying basically, um, basically now you're also children. You're also, there's nobody good but God. Yeah. Yeah. His father, cause he, he was, he sent his, his son. So Jesus in the bodily form, and Jesus was fulfilling all righteousness in the human, in the human flesh. That, that's why when he said to John the Baptist, uh, he said, John the Baptist was like, no, 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 I'm not going to baptize you. And then uh, he said, it's necessary for us to fulfill all righteousness. Oh, my, my God, my God, why, why have you forsaken me? Right. Well, who is he talking to himself? No. Well, no, he's, you, it's you, the you, third you, part. You get my drift. You know, was he talking well, to himself? Well, soul, body, soul, spirit. Soul, no, God, no. He was talking to a, another person that was not, that's not him. In other words, I would appeal, you know, to another person. Mm -hmm. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Yeah. You know. And so what about? But that, but that showed, like, there's, it's, there's a difference. There's a, di there's a difference in the parts. Just like you have a soul, spirit, and a body, but you're still you. You're still one person. Have you read Genesis? In the same way, Genesis. What is it? I was about to talk about Genesis. What's Genesis two seven? Read it. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living being. He became. It didn't say he was given a soul. He became. And if you look at that that Hebrew word, became a a living being. Paul says, or or one of the apostles says in the New Testament, he said. The word of God is alive and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, even piercing to the separation of the soul and the spirit. So that means there's actually a difference between soul and spirit. But as, as far as him saying, my God, that's similar to my father, because he says, my father and your father, 
my God and your God. And not, he's he's really one, pointing out one and the same. And if you truly believe in the Trinity, you believe they're one and the same person. I believe they're one, but three parts. Yeah, I know. But Just like you're one, but three parts. Uh, but, you know, as a soul, you're that's your composite self. That's, that, that is who you are. You know, you, you are a soul. You don't have a soul. What does your Genesis 126 say? Genesis 126. Was there, then God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness and let them have in subjection the fish of the sea, flying creatures of the heavens and the domestic animals and all the earth and every creeping animal that is moving on the earth. Right. Right. So God said, let us make man. Mm -hmm. So who's he talking about? He Jesus, said in, in, in our image. You know, Jesus had a pre-human existence. But like, like, you know, when it says he's the master worker in Proverbs, I was I was before him all the time. Yeah. And happy. Like it says, all things were made through Jesus, right? It says right, right, in John 1, and he, you know, you know, the Word was with God, the Word was God, and nothing that was made was made without without Jesus. So even, even God saying this right here, let us make man in our image, He is talking to Jesus, but also it, it, we, we, it puts the Spirit even in the, in the display here. It says the Spirit was like hovering over the waters in Genesis 1. So again, we see like the Father, the Spirit, and even the Son, but he's referring to let us make man in our image, which is God actually, just like you were talking about Jesus talking to the Father, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Just because he's one doesn't mean he can't talk. It's kind of like David. David said, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, right? So David was actually speaking to his own soul. He's actually speaking to himself and we wouldn't say that David was crazy for, for saying that, but it's the same way that God was saying, let us, speaking of just like that, that verse, my soul, my spirit, and then he's talking about Jesus, my chosen one. So it's like the same way that God is talking to Jesus and even the Holy Spirit, and he's saying, let us, as we are one, just like David said, bless the Lord, O my soul. He wasn't signifying that he's two different people, he was actually soul, and then there was spirit and body, right? And David is talking to himself, even his own soul. So again, we see the soul, the Father, which represents soul, and God said, my soul, like we, we just pointed it out. He's actually talking to himself, and he's saying, let us make them in our. He even uses the word exactly, our right? in our image. You got a son? Or got a uh, daughter. Okay, but say you had a son. Would he be you? Would he be me? Yeah. Well, no. no. He'd be a separate person. Right. Well, Jesus is the Son of God. He's right. Not God, he's not an extension of God. He is the Son of God. Think well, the, God. The, the Bible but, says that uh, Jesus said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. That's right. And it even says that he's the exact representation of the Father. And it says he's even the, even the, the image. It he, says that he's and even and the humans, image, we see, we can't really the image of God. God. But Jesus he said. Well, see, that's, that's where I think that you guys kind of, in, in saying we can't conceive God, I think that's where the misunderstanding of him being three in one is, because he's actually revealed it, even through his son Jesus, the truth that they are, that they all three agree as one. It even says- He learned obedience through the things he suffered. Yeah. Right? And, and he learned obedience to who? He learned to, obedience as, yeah, he came down in the flesh. To God. To he God, came down in the flesh. We would never, in other words, if it was a, if it was a, uh, you did turn that camera off, right? Right? No, he didn't, he didn't turn it off. Please turn it off or, or point it away from me. Hey, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share this video with a friend. If you'd like to support us, you can do that through ko-fi.com slash Nicholas Bowling. You'll find that link down in the description as well as our Discord that you can join. Guys, as you can see, the main topic in this video is whether or not Jesus is God. The Jehovah's Witnesses, they believe that Jesus is the Son of God and they believe that He's the Messiah and the Christ, but they don't trust in Him as God. But I'm about to show you a few verses somewhere even Jesus Himself in red letters in the Bible says that He is God. I'm gonna start out with Isaiah 9, verse six through seven, and it says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulders, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, 
mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end upon the throne of David and over his kingdom, and it keeps going. So it literally is talking about Jesus being born, and then it says his name will be Mighty God and Everlasting Father. That's Isaiah chapter nine. In John chapter one, verse one through four, many people are familiar with this one. It says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word is Jesus. That's what it's talking about right here. It says, He was in the beginning with God. John chapter 14, If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. And from now on, you know Him and have seen Him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and it is sufficient for us. Jesus said to him, Have yet I been with you so long, and yet you have not known me, Philip. He who has seen me has seen the Father. So how can you say, show us the Father? Second Corinthians chapter four. But even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing, whose minds the God of this age has blinded, who do not believe, lest the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine on them. So Jesus is the image of God. John chapter eight, it keeps going. Then the Jews said to him, you are not yet 50 years old, and have you seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, most assuredly I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. Then they took up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple, going through the midst of them, and so passed by. Why were they so angry and why did they want to throw stones at him? Well, we find that in Exodus 3. Then Moses said to God, indeed, when I come to the children of Israel and say to them, the God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they say to me, what is his name? What shall I say to them? And God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, Thus you shall say to the children of Israel, I am has sent me to you. So God said his name is I am. And look at what Jesus just said in John chapter eight. Before Abraham was I am. And the Pharisees and the Sadducees recognized that Jesus was claiming to be equal with God, right? In 1 John five, verse seven, for there are three that bear witness in heaven the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit, and these three are one. Hallelujah. Jesus is the Son of God, Jesus is the Word of God, and Jesus is God. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, it's very clear in Scripture, Jesus Himself said, I am. Guys, go forth, preach the gospel in love, reach out. If you know some Jehovah's Witnesses, you can share this video with them. God bless you and I'll see you in the next one.